to be honest. Make sure you like and dislike. Make sure you leave them comments. And don't be a hater. If you fill up my videos, hit the subscribe button. Alright, let's talk about some real shit in this video. Because you know it's real. I want to talk about about three things, you guys. Where does Canelo go from here? Will this accusation of him being a some of you guys may call it facts but unless you're God you truly don't know I mean we can go off what we truly believe but you truly don't know but it is looking very bad for Canelo um, I will say at this point it's like he's 70% guilty 30% not guilty in my opinion but let me tell you guys this at first i thought it was maybe 50 50 but what made me basically change it to 75 25 is canelo basically pulling out of the fight it's like he would have answered a whole lot of questions if he was able to still take the fight, which it seemed to me he had the power to do that. Now you got me wondering now. Hmm. Was it really the com com how you how you call it? Come all? Was it really the come all? We have to ask ourselves this question now. I mean, because Maybe Canelo feel like if he pulls out of the fight, it's kind of better than getting embarrassed by Triple G. I'm just saying, you guys, I could take this many different ways, you guys. Okay? Facts. And another thing I want to talk about is, will it hurt his stardom? Will it really hurt his career? Let's talk about it. Well, first of all, I'm a person that believes time heal all wounds, you guys. Okay? So I think Canelo needs to take some time off. You know, he's still young. Um, he can come back. And what he needs to do is he needs to take Olympic-style drug testing. For all his fights. Random drug testing. For all his fights. Now if he does that. Then we could probably. Not forgive him. Because. I don't think we can ever forgive him. But we can give him another shot. Okay. But you guys. If Canelo is under strict drug testing. From now on. I don't think it's no way we can keep saying he's a drug cheat or he's a cheater. And another thing is this. How many fighters got caught for using steroids and they were still a star? Roy Jones been caught for steroids. Um, Antonio Tarver been caught for steroids twice. Luis Ortiz twice. Basically twice. Alexander Pavekin twice. So Canelo getting caught for steroids, don't get it twisted. It's looking bad for him in the heat of the moment. But I do not feel like Canelo's career is just over. Like, oh my God. Like, he's never going to get another fight again because he's a drug cheat. I definitely do not feel that way, y'all. And for those of you guys out there that do feel that way, um, you shouldn't think like that, man. Canelo's a young man. Everybody make mistakes. And even though if he was using a drug, it was very intentional. So yeah, I can't really say that or use that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at Canelo. They, they showed me somebody else. Good Lord. You guys know all that shit. But my question is, what is Oscar going to do for the moment being? 
I mean, you got the guy that beat Kodo, Saddam Ali. He has a belt. But I know Oscar De La Hoya is not hurt for money. But I know he want to keep the Golden Boy legacy going. And his main man, his main star was Canelo. Look at Oscar's body language. He's like, fuck. Fuck Canelo. Back to Canelo. I mean, I feel like Canelo could take it maybe, you know, you know, a good six months off because it's obvious he's not going to get suspended for a year. So I think he should take six months off, evaluate what happened. You know, because only God and him know whether he was really check, taking the drugs or not, or the steroids or whatever. So evaluate it and and just go back to the draw more. Come back, take a little soft touch, and then find a real opponent. But the only problem I have with Canelo is this: his next fight, whoever the fuck he fights. Well, let's just say after he fights the bum, I'm quite sure he's going to take a uh, tuna fight. And then he's going to get back in there with some high contentions again. We're going to finally see how Canelo is going to react without the alleged steroids. See, a lot of people were saying they didn't want to see the fight between Triple G and Canelo. They said.